Hello and welcome to a interesting video. I have discovered that the HyperX Cloud 2s actually have a really good microphone, or at least it's good enough when you don't have any audio effects on it. And I'm gonna show you how to turn our previous audio to this audio. All right, so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna play this back. Hello and welcome to a interesting video. So it sounds better, right? So I'm gonna be taking out the mic and be switching it to the HyperX Cloud 2s, the normal USB mic. All right, three, two, one. Okay, so as you can see, I am talking on the HyperX Cloud 2's normal USB microphone, and I'm gonna show you how to improve the sound, all right? So what you wanna do is you wanna go to your settings, you wanna go to properties, you want to go to advanced, and you're gonna wanna change this. It's gonna kill my audio in a second here. Uh, right now it's set to CD quality, but we're gonna hit DVD quality. All right, so you can see it doesn't sound that great. So by switching it out to a four-prong cable, uh, tip ring ring sleeve, so TTRS, uh, we are able to improve our audio by just uh, plugging it directly into the motherboard. So again, here we go. As you can see, we actually are talking on the other microphone now. Uh, if we go back here, we can just go ahead back to Realtek Audio. And uh, as you can see, it is in fact, well, it's recording. So again, I'm just gonna demonstrate uh, the difference in sound. So this is with the microphone plugged in directly to the motherboard. And here it is plugged into the HyperX 2's USB interface. If you have this headset, this might actually be a way to improve your microphone quality. Uh, it really comes down to what you prefer in sound, but I think this sounds a lot better when it's plugged in, not through this, but again, plugged in directly to a converter, basically. Or you could just take off the microphone and plug it in with a boom pole, which we'll also try right now as well. So, ready? One eternity later. So I was wrong about trying to plug the microphone into the standalone cable. It has to be hooked up to the headset, but that's fine. So like I said, this is a much better option if you want to improve your audio quality and actually want to use this microphone in YouTube videos or even live chats with friends. So you go to your uh, Realtek high definition audio, make sure that all enhanced, disable all sound effects is off. It doesn't sound very good. It sounds kind of crappy, uh, but you turn that off. You then hit okay. You then go to advanced. You take make sure it's set to 192,000 hertz. You also make sure that your microphone is set to 100% and your microphone boost is either 10 or 20. Do not set it to 30, it overdoes it. 10 is perfectly fine and it sounds good. 20 if you want to do a little bit of EQ and cut out the low end. At the end of the day, it said you're going to enjoy this sound a lot better. And like I said, it's going to be much cleaner cleaner audio and again you in post-production you can do a whole lot with it and i'll demonstrate that in another video thanks so much for watching this video if you liked it like it if you dislike it dislike it and i'll see you in the next one peace out